Okay, so next one on list. Two, three. And then... Uh, what is this? Oh, that's a... Just a different version of linen. And then we need five. It is expensive, but we have our gambeson now. Which means I can finally aim and shoot at the same time. Well, I guess I've been doing that the entire time, but you know what I mean. It's like, look at that. Accurate. I'm fast. Just a little bit slow. But... Otherwise, I maintain my accuracy at this point. And then for the rest of this, uh, I'm going to make bombs. Oh, we can get one more. Just turn them all into bombs at this point. And there we go. We got 43 bombs. So during the night time, I'm just gonna get, uh, blow up some quartz over there in the copper ore cave. Just need to do some other stuff. So now we have a source of food. Okay, let's check this out. Unfortunately, we don't have enough for sails at this point. But at least we have a full set of Gambeson armor. Which is really good, because I kind of needed it. So I'm going to go get some more... Uh, Play over there. So it looks like the rift activity is very high, so yeah, I'm gonna do that during the night. Let's also get rid of this dirt over here so it doesn't collapse on us. Wait, we do need the flowers as well, so probably should get some dirt while we're here. And there are a lot of flowers here. So, just gonna get another stack. What the... What the hell?! Hey, come back here. Come back here, you asshole. It's daytime, what the hell are you doing here? I know there's a rip there, but you shouldn't be spawning. You even gave me nothing. Uh. Okay, so we have- we only have 16 of these. But we do need the dirt, so whatever. Like I should start saving my shovel for something else, but I guess I'll just do this one more time with this area and then we'll call it good.
Yeah, I'm not getting them anymore. Okay, we got 50. Ouch. Well, let's just finish off this area here. Okay, three more. One more red top. Just get it from the, up there. Okay, there we go. That's... That should be good for... The dirt. I'll try to bring as much clay as possible while it's still safe to do so. My shovel is almost out. Gonna need to replace that as well. Damn you. Let's get this clay over here. Yeah, this house is going to be really, really expensive just because of how much resources it takes just to get the building blocks. So I'm thinking maybe in the next playthrough, which I do, it's gonna, I'm just going to go back to stones. Like this is way too much work. It's much easier just to mine stone in a quarry. Well, at least I got to experience what it's like. Okay, let's get a stack of bricks going. Maybe two. And then we'll fill up on clay and that's it. Actually, my shovel is almost gone, so... Won't be able to fill up. How much more? I got 57 left. Alright, let's make it count. Probably should have dumped the turnip seeds. Okay, nine more blocks and then we're done.
also gonna need to get rid of this cranberry bush. Alright, let's head back. So I do believe there's another thing of flax here. Spelt flax and yeah, actually two lanes of flax growing here. And then spelt over here. Now let's get rid of these flowers. Oh, we got honey. So I probably should start working on skeps once again. Because we are getting honey. Lots and lots of honey. Yeah, these are ready to go. Oh, damn. Wow. What the hell, you guys? Wait, I put the chest over here. Like, I still don't have a secure home. Actually, leave that there. And then we'll bring the brick- Oh, shit, fuck you. Damn you. Oh, that's- Uh... We'll get rid of these. Gonna have to store the stuff in here. We'll take my bombs. Get rid of the dirt. Alright, let's head out. So we got 43 bombs. There should be more than enough for our purposes. And of course we also have that chest in the cave over there. And you know I probably should start uh, harvesting some halite. We do have access to the halite dome from that cave there. And this is as far as the path will go. Still nothing on that leaky pine. And I probably should just drop off this dirt here. And one thing I want to do once I get more linen is actually I want to create this mining bag. It takes two... Is it just bismuth bronze plates or can I use tin bronze? But basically I want to do this. I never actually made... Oh, there we go. Yeah, I can use tin bronze, two of them. So it takes one linen and one flax twine to make one of these. I've never used this before, but it's always been in the back of my mind. Especially since I don't have a fourth backpack just yet. Like, I want to make one of those mining bags. It seems like it would be really useful in this situation that I'm about to put myself in. So it's this cave right here, and as you can see, we have lots of copper, so maybe I'll bring back some with me. 
And of course, lots of granite stone that I can turn into stone paths. And there is a slate. I'm just gonna put the torch right here. So this is where I want to start bombing. Fucking hell. Seriously? This... F okay, we're gonna have to take that out in a very awkward place to take it out. F if we can somehow bring it up to the surface, either that or go down below. But that would require me to light it down below. F fucking hell. A saw blade? Why the fuck did you have to appear here of all places? So, I'm gonna have to, like... Well, let's get rid of this first. I'm gonna have to get some... Some spears. Let's clear this out. I actually need more flint. Like, I haven't really been collecting flint, but... I'm going to need more of it. What? Oh, yeah. I didn't collect all of the torches. And somehow... Wait a minute. It was on the ground. And somehow it didn't despawn. All right. Okay, let's go look for some flint in the dark. I don't want to go too far. Twelve. And f there we go. I think that's good enough. Oh, there's even flint here. So I'm wondering if the saw blade is going to come up and face me on the surface. Or if it's just programmed to stay below ground. But I probably have to aggro it first. Of course, I can get quartz pretty much anywhere, but the reason I'm picking this spot is because I need the slate as well. And then I'm also gonna leave the spears in the temporary home. Like it does have a tool rack that I can store this in. I think we'll do 10 spears. Okay, we're at 8. Okay, there's 10. All right, let's do this. Come here, saw blade. Unless it despawned. <laughs> Doubt it. 
Maybe it just regressed or something. Now I actually have to watch my back. the hell? Am I at the edge of a deposit or something? Okay, then let's go this way. Oh no, I'm going into a cave. So I'm, I think I'm going to have to pretty much explore this now. Okay, so I barricaded this off, and behind it is the, uh, what's its face, the, uh, translocator. So, I do know where this is. Okay, so let's just light this up, I guess. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I knew you were coming up here. You fuck. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to back off and try to get him to back off so I can get my spears back. And I'm not sure if he'll run away if I run away far enough. Well, I'm gonna have to see. Like, I don't know how the game is uh, keeping those saw blades in persistence. Maybe it's like despawning it and then respawning it with full HP or something. Or if it actually keeps the current HP. Run away over here. And then we head back. Oh, I need to eat now. Start eating the meat as well. So that should do it for my grain. Uh, nutrition here. Alright, let's get those spears. Yeah, it looks like the saw blade. Unless the saw blade is... Or wait, saw blade is... Yeah, uh, that's where I was checking. Just for good measure, how about we put a tort? Oh! Oh, fuck! Jesus Christ! It was in there. This fucking guy. Oh, I actually... Yeah, it does persist. Oh, fuck, that freaked me out. Oh my 
god, but I got all some rusty gears, metal scraps, a Jonas part. Fucking hell. That freaked me out. Like, I knew this deposit was here, but I just forgot that it can go in there. <laughs> Alright, so anyway. Let's go back up. Uh, I'm going to dump my spears in there since we don't need it anymore. As well as all of these other parts. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, so just put these in here and then a whole bunch of spears. I'll keep three on me just in case. Oh, th this is fresh for four hours, so might as well just eat this now. There we go. Now, where was I? Now, I don't know how long until we get another Corrupt Saw Blade. I'm not familiar with that mechanic. Like, it just shows up whenever. Or maybe it's purely, uh, RNG. Like, who knows. Hmm. Oh, there are wolves nearby. Now I can actually uh, take on the wolves without taking off my armor. Now what's the healing on this healing effect? Take off the armor, heal up, and then put the armor back on. I'd say this guy chopped me in the legs. That's where the damage is. Let's put the bomb here. 